we're going to power this up. I've got this is 12 volts coming in here. There's a protector on this. There we go. I'm going to power it on now. And we've got a blue screen. This adjusts contrast or backlight or something. So you see what you want to do, you increase it until these little blocks appear and then you back it off a little bit. So that's power up. There's no splash screen or anything. Now, if you power it up with a button pushed, I think it'll screw up. And I think that means keep all switches off. And it powers up. This is a 1000 micro Henry. And this button is inductance. So that's that's that's, that's perfect almost. I mean, it's as close as it can be. There's see, I get this. See what putting a screwdriver next to it does. <laughs> Changes the quote magnetic field. So that's good. Unplug it, it goes to nothing. That is, take the button off. This is an eight, 820 uh, picofarad, 5% mica. Interesting spelling. Anyway, that's left over from the inductance. Push the capacitance meter. Now this is an 820 picofarad, uh, 5%. So we're a little bit off there. But I don't know that we can calibrate these. Well, these. This is frequency. I'm not too worried about that. So far, so good. Inductance and capacity work. Now, looking at the ranges, we have uh, inductance, small capacitance, and frequency. Well, this is capacitance, and it measured a rather small capacitor. Inductance and frequency. Then we have one set of terminals here that is uh, capacitors that I believe are polarized because it's got a plus sign on it. These three buttons are selected by one of these three switches. This one here, this one here, this one here. This thing is selected by one of two capacitors measured labeled big C and small c. I don't believe small c this one pike of fire to 2.2 is this I believe small c is this well I believe that large and small comprise this measuring range. And after looking at everything on the web, trying to find out what this does, 
I found one reference to the fact that this is used to calibrate these two things. Then I found, I believe, a Chinese speaker, but it was a foreign language speaker that said measuring between, and I take this because I was looking at his video, not because he said it. Here and here, which is four and five. So he said I should read 3.16 volts. Well, I read 3.5 volts right now. I'm going to go off camera and see if I can adjust it. But first, I have a six microfarad non-polarized capacitor. On small c, read seven microfarad, I'm sorry. Down here. On small c, it reads 7 microfarad. Now that, let's see what big c does. Well, big c doesn't do it, it measures 7 as well. A little more stable. So big c and little c both read this the same. I have here a 1200 microfarad. And it is a polarized capacitor. Small c reads it. Well, it doesn't do anything. Let me get started over again here. Okay, all buttons are up. Well, small c reads 15, 1400, 1200. What does big c read? 1400. Well, that's interesting. I know that this is closer to 1200. So I'm going to adjust this voltage off camera and see what that does. As I say, right now that voltage is 3.52 volts. Okay. Off screen I adjusted the voltage between 4 and 5. Uh, the little oriental fellow was pretty specific at 3.16. So I have 3.17. 1200 microfarad more or less. Small c. That's pretty damn good. Big c. 1188. That's pretty good. I don't know where 3.16 volts comes from. <laughs> I'll give you the link in the description below. If you do speak whatever language he's speaking, maybe he can explain it, but the captioning in English didn't explain it. So this is somewhere around 1200 microfarads. It reads in the big C position 1190, 1180. And in the small C position, 1226. Those two bracket the nominal uh, 1200. I'll go back and measure this supposedly 6 microfarad capacitor. start from scratch. <laughs> Six microfarad capacitor. Look at that. That's on small c. If I go to large c, 
But you can't, you certainly can't complain about that. It says six microfarad on the can. Six microfarad. Uh, no PCBs. There's a date code on it somewhere. It's like something 77. And that's probably true. I'd say this thing works well. I don't know I would push it real small capacity or real small inductors. Just looking around the workbench. Here is a uh, 68 67 the said 68 now that's the lower limit maybe of the, what this will read so I'll take small C off and push big C. See, big C can't read that low. But small C, it says 68 microfarads. This says, six, well, I don't know what it says, 68 something. See, there's a 68 right there. 68 slash Okay, so we've exceeded the range of small c. Or of this c, not small c. Of whatever this c is. Let's look at some capacitors using a $150 meter. Here's the little blue one. The red .68. Six hundred and sixty seven nanofarads. This six microfarad that read six point two, which is almost exactly what we read, I believe. And where did I lose the other capacitor to? Oh, here it is. Eleven sixty-two. So all in all, this thing seems to perform fairly well. I have a button pushed. It seems to do its job. As I said in the construction portion of the video, I'm going to try to do using only kit installed parts some method of getting this thing installed so that it doesn't run in these capacitors. I'll try to do that with my spare kit. Otherwise, if it suits your needs, it seems just fine. Fifteen dollars. Thank you very much if you've come this far. Give me a thumbs up if you think about it.